हाय आई एम डॉक्टर नीलेष चोड़िया अंको सजन फ्रॉम स्पेशलिटी सर्जिकल ऑन्कोलॉजी हॉस्पिटल रिसर्च सेंटर घाटकोपर सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ओवर एंड कैंसर स्क्रीनिंग कैन ओवर एंड कैंसर बी डायग्नोस एट प्री कैंसर स्टेज और अर्ली स्टेज सो ऑन हाउ टू डायग्नोस इट एट अर्ली स्टेज सो ओवरी कैंसर इज पर्टिकुलरली अ डिसीज ऑफ ओवरीज ओवरीज आर द स्ट्रक्चर विच आर सिचुएटेड इन बिटवीन यूट्रस एंड रेक्टम so most of the times they grow very large until they don't do any, don't show any symptoms so that's why people often ask me is there any screening test for ovarian cancer so a traditional test which is done by gynecologist is called pap smear testing so pap smear testing is not for ovarian cancer it is generally it is used for cervical cancer although sometimes ovarian cancer cells are shed in the inner lining they traverse with uterus and sometimes in pap smear testing very rarely we can diagnose ovarian cancer also that cancer cells are present but it is not per se a proper test for ovarian cancer so how to diagnose ovarian cancer so most important is know your body well you should know what is normal for your body give attention to your body know what is normal for your body anything which is abnormal which is troubling for more than 3 weeks please consult doctor especially if you have persistent gas trouble low abdominal pain frequency of urination so if any these symptoms are present you can do a good examination called ultrasonography simple examination ultrasonography of abdomen and pelvis it will detect if done by a good radiologist it can detect ovarian cancer at early stages also so for ovarian cancer no actual screening is there but we can do ultrasonography to detect early many people do ca125 is a biomarker which is raising ovarian cancer so many people do ca125 to diagnose ovarian cancer but please be sure that c125 can increase in normal conditions also non cancerous conditions also so it is not a 100% marker which will say you have ovarian cancer so even if your c125 is raised don't be afraid but consult a oncologist in that scenario so any query about ovarian cancer you can contact us on the following address thank you